Hello. There's this awesome um, technique that I've been using that's really starting to pay, I'll just say dividends in, in life. It's called the Bankston Healing Method. Um, that being said, I don't really use it for healing. Healing isn't really what gets me uh, a going. So, well, the reason I bring it up though is because even if you're not the type of person who really wants to wants to heal others, it, this the technique that's used in order to do that has a side effect of lack of a better word manifesting things that you want out of life everyone already does this naturally and it's generally a more natural flow in your life where things just kind of gently happen over time which is nice However, this other t technique is a lot more forceful. It's more more like a jackhammer to your life. It will force things to happen in your life or what you want to happen can happen. So that being said, you might not like it for that reason. You might want a more gentle or approach that maybe Reiki or Qigong kind of pr provides. And I use manifestation cautiously because of how it's generally used in society. So people are number one triggered by it because of something that they've already seen on YouTube. Someone telling them, already to believe in something a certain way rather than trying it th themselves so that's honestly probably probably the biggest problem you're going to have to run into is overcoming limiting b beliefs and actually just trying something yourself rather than just hearing what s someone else has already told you which is pretty hard because uh, that's one of the fundamental programmings that we humans have so, um, oh yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. Buddha had a quote, don't believe what I say or anybody else says unless it agrees with your own faculties. That's not his exact quote. It's just something that just came to, to mind. And... This is something that's not really taught in ancient times or in current. 